thanks for joining us this week. Today we're on our way downtown. We're going to go to the Kama Museum. The Kama Museum was founded primarily by Nina Kama. She and her husband Arthur moved to Jacksonville in 1897. He was in the lumber business and they established a home on Riverside Avenue. He passed away in 1943, and then in um, 1958, Mrs. Kummer also passed away, but after he had passed away, she began collecting art, seriously. And at the time of her death, she had more than 60 pieces. So she bequeathed most of her estate to the creation of a museum, a, a foundation and a museum for beautification and wanted to create an art museum. The property itself wasn't actually perfect for a museum, so I understand that they had to hire an architect to build a piece of property, although I think it's in the same location, still has her gardens there, and there is a room in the Kama dedicated to preserving the atmosphere of their original home. We've been there several times and are looking forward to it today. It's not a static museum. They're often acquiring new pieces or um, sharing the pieces that they have, loaning them out and borrowing others. It's something a little different every time. We're looking forward to seeing what they have today. Right now we're just heading downtown to Riverside Avenue. The river, of course, is the St. John's River. We made it to the Cummer. We're about to go inside. We got tickets online earlier, and I guess I show it on my phone. We'll figure that out. It's the building back there across the road. It's really pretty, and there are gardens there as well. So hopefully the rain holds off and we can go outside and see them. So let's go to the museum. It was very easy getting into the museum with our online ticket. When we went to the counter, they had our reservation in the system already. So all we had to do is walk in. We got a sticker to put on our shirt to show that we were museum visitors. And I don't think I even had to show anything on my phone. It was super easy. Now we're gonna check out some of the galleries before we check out gardens and eat some lunch at the cafe. one of mom's favorites in here. And we're coming up on one of my favorites, Parade to War, an Allegory by John Stuart Curry. It was painted between the Great Depression and World War II. some paintings. They're fun, but pottery and china and stuff like that. It's definitely more interesting to me. 
can you pick up the swans? So that's Mason porcelain. I want number six. That's for chocolate, for hot chocolate. Louis Cans chairs, Louis XV. Oh, I like the inlay on this. Let's find some more chocolate pots. I do think the knives need polishing. Yeah. Polish those knives recently. Needle case is number 22. Oh, cool. That number 22 is a needle case. That's neat. And this is 21 with another cane handle. Oh, cool. Fancy for your cane. This one is like a lady's cane handle with this one. There's Number 17. Like a, a men's cane, cane handle. Cool. Those are really fancy. I haven't found any chocolate stuff yet. Coffee pot and tea stuff. Well, let's look for chocolate stuff over here. There's a rice bowl. Number 10 is a rice bowl. There's number 10. Ah. For rice. Fancy. Oh, wow. Those are amazing. Very intricate, aren't they? Indeed. More unpolished knives. Those are fancy knives. And quite frankly, it's amazing that they still have all 12 of them. Have you found any chocolate stuff in here? No, no chocolate stuff in here. I like that little desk. It's very cute. It's very Jane Austen. information a roll top yeah, desk awesome. oh it is oh so the desk is a roll top lemon wood and hair wood from 1780 but it's danish it's not british so oh look the chairs <laughs> they're chip and nail <laughs> i was laughing about that because i kept thinking of chip and dale as in disney characters <laughs> This looks like a promising spot for chocolate stuff. No, not so. Oh, no, there is number 18. Number 18. The chocolate beaker. Oh, yes. Chocolate beaker. Nice. Number 20 looks cool. Oh, it's, uh, number 20 is a sake bottle. A bullion cup. So is that like when you have your beef tea? That's neat. A special cup just for that. Number four is especially pretty. That is a mustard pot. Is number 15 for chocolate? Number four is for chocolate. It's oh, chocolate oh yes! Pot. There's a chocolate pot. 
Yum. That's the right shape and everything. What is number, number nine? It's an ice cream pail. <gasps> an ice cream pail? With a is that a dog? What is that supposed to be? A dragon. It looks like a dragon. Number three is a coffee pot. That looks nice. It has a face on the spout. Oh, neat. Look at the spout on number six. It's um, a water creature. Like a fish or something. A dragon, maybe. Teapot. That's a nice little shape. Oh, number one. Number one is also a cute little teapot. Another nice little shape. I like it. These are interesting. More teapots. There's a ton of teapots in here. is a nice little teapot but not at first glance at first glance it looks boring and then you look closer and it's really gorgeous that's cool it is cool because if you look at the teapot you think he has no imagination right so this guy in the middle is Butger I'm sure I just butchered that and he created number 34 Four, number 35, tea caddy and teapot, and presumably a bunch of other stuff in here. And now we're back with more paintings. Down there is the cafe, so we're going to enjoy lunch there soon. And now we're checking out some more calories. Ancient Mediterranean. Egyptian. I like the Egyptian stuff. It's amazing the paint is still there a little bit. or something like that.
don't grow cheese, sounds like you. Yeah, it does. Here's the menu. I'm gonna get some hot tea, that sounds fun. Fancy. And then here's the food side. And now we have to decide what to eat. We just saw the most beautiful exhibit inside that we weren't allowed to film at, but it was all dried flowers. So gorgeous. The Louis, Rebecca Louise Law. this very interesting tree just looks really old covered in Spanish moss it has resurrection fern you see on this big branch here surprisingly all of the resurrection fern is not green because it's been very wet here we would have expected it to be completely green at this point our food has arrived so, we're going to show you. I have the crab cake with avocado and a red pepper remoulade. Oh, actually here. I don't know why I give you extra many. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. And I got a veggie burger. It's um, supposed to be black bean and quinoa veggie burger with some red pepper remoulade. And there's some tomatoes on there. That's That looks right up my alley. And I got a side salad, and Mom got a side of the house chips, which, uh, do you think they're made here? Or I think just fancy? they're supposed to be, but they just look like regular chips to me. You want to tell us how lunch was? Lunch was <clears throat> delicious. Some is not so great. It's like they don't quite have things together, but that was okay. They were friendly. Nice. They were friendly, it was nice to sit and relax, and it was very good food. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Now we're outside and heading to the garden. garden for last.
happy. So in spite of saying we were going to the Italian garden, we've done the Olmsted garden first. leaving the Olmsted Garden, I think that's what it was called. And next stop is the Italian Garden, which is right here. Bees are very happy here. Thanks for joining us. We had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe below and we'll see you next time. Bye.